Hi, welcome to Bicycle Academy. I am Dr. Nandu Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss different types of symmetries in continuous time signals. First one is even symmetry. So, by the definition of even symmetry, we have f of x equals to f of minus x. That is, the signal on the positive x side and the negative x side are same, which means so this is the negative x side negative x side signal and this is a positive x side signal suppose if i bring this negative x signal on the positive x side so those two will be overlap each other okay that is what even symmetry clear yeah now let us go to the odd symmetry yeah so the definition of odd symmetry is f of x equals to minus f of minus x nothing but what i am doing I am equating the positive x signal, negative x signal with minus sign. So, the meaning of this minus is we are flipping the signal. Okay. Yeah. So, when we are equating the negative x signal and the positive x signal by just making the signal to flip. Okay. Let us see that. Yeah. I brought the negative x signal to the positive x signal and these two are not overlap. When these will be overlap? Yeah. Taking this negative thing. but we need to take the flip of the signal yeah if you flip this yeah now these two signals are overlapped that is what odd symmetry so in the case of even symmetry just we brought the negative side, negative signal negative x signal to the positive x signal that itself is overlapping but in the case of here odd symmetry yeah we brought the negative signal to the positive side and then we took the flip then only these two signals becomes overlapped okay so that is what odd symmetry Okay, now let us go for the half wave symmetry. Yeah, so definition of half wave symmetry is f of x equals to minus times of f of x minus t by 2, which means I am shifting the signal by the length of t by 2. So this means right shift. Okay, yeah, and then I am taking the negative of the signal thing, but we are flipping the signal, right? Yeah, we are just flipping the signal. So, and then that will be equal to the original signal. Clear? Yeah. Let us see. Now, first what we have to do? So, we have to shift the signal by length of t by 2. Yeah. So, this is the t by 2 shift on right side. That is right shift. Now, I have to do flip. Right? Yeah. If you flip this signal, now these two gets overlapped. Clear? That is what half wave symmetry. Yeah, not only this uh, right shift, even if you take the left shift, left shift also, okay, that will be satisfied. Clear? Right shift is x minus t by 2 and if you write x plus t by 2, that will be left shift. Even for the left shift also, that will be true. Okay, left, uh, left shift and then we have to take the flip. Then both the signals will be overlapped. So, that is what half wave symmetry. Clear? Yeah, I know it is quite difficult to uh, shift the signal and taking the flip on a paper. That's why we are going to give a simple technique to verify the given signal is a half wave or not. Yeah, let us see the new technique on half wave. Yeah, consider this curve. So what I'm going to do, I'm just taking the half period of the curve. So with the fingertips, okay, this is the half period, right? Now what I'm going to do, so I'm just moving these fingers on the egg axis either on positive side or on negative side okay yeah then the value corresponds on this particular curve okay the value on the curve corresponding to these fingertips must be same in magnitude and opposite in polarity okay let us see that uh, yeah this is the half period okay i'm just moving a bit here and what is the uh, what is the value on the curve correspond to these fingertips? So I have here and here, right? The value is same in magnitude but opposite in polarity, right? Yeah, if you move further, so this is the peak we have. Half period you have to maintain, right? So here and here, right? So if you move further along, then so less than that half. In that way, the value will be same when you take the half period. That is what half wave, right? When I'm taking the half period, I'm just moving along 
either on x axis positive x axis or on negative x axis the value on the curve correspond to these fingertips must be same in magnitude but in opposite polarity clear that's what the half wave okay now let us see one more example so therefore i can write this as half wave okay yeah let us see this example so this is the half period okay now i'm just moving along positive x axis right and i have now yeah so this is the value and if i move further i will get somewhere here and somewhere there okay so in that way if you move back then the value on the curve correspond to these fingertips so when you consider the half period that's why i'm talking about it say half wave okay is same therefore this is a half wave clear now let us consider one more example yeah so what is the half period this is a half period okay now if i consider this half period and i am moving on the slightly on the positive x axis side now i have the value on the fingertip is this the maximum value and here the same length i have to consider i have to take the half period and i'm just moving further and now i got this value functional value over here and here but are this uh, same in magnitude no right therefore this is not a not a half wave okay clear yeah now let us see this example i am not going to say whether it is a half wave or not but please comment in the comment box whether this is a half wave half wave or not okay yeah now now i am defining a quarter wave the definition of quarter wave is okay so actually quarter wave is classified into two types the first one is so even quarter wave and second one is odd quarter wave even quarter wave nothing but yeah so from the definition it should be even plus half wave okay and odd quarter wave nothing but it should be odd plus half wave okay so in the case of even quarter wave it should be even plus half wave then it should be even quarter wave if it is odd and half wave that will be odd quarter wave okay yeah now within these examples we will verify which one is uh, a even quarter wave or odd quarter wave so we have already verified this is a half wave right yeah first of all we need to check whether it is a even or odd accordingly that will be distributed as even quarter wave or odd quarter wave right yeah so as we know this is the half wave yeah now what about this uh, is it even or odd yeah in the case of even it must be symmetry along the y axis on positive x axis curve on the positive x axis negative x axis and the positive x axis it has to be symmetry with respect to the y axis so do we have the symmetry yeah if you fold this curve and the the curve on both the sides must be overlap each other that's what even right so is it in that way yeah therefore this is even right so this even wave and also half wave therefore this is even quarter wave i can say that clear yeah now let us see this example uh this is half wave we already know that yeah first is it odd or odd is it even or odd let us let us verify that yeah 
so this is the y axis okay so is this curve is symmetry about the y axis just verify it yourself okay this is not symmetry here immediate after y axis we have positive part immediate after uh, y axis on negative side we have negative part so this is not symmetry now second thing so this is not even fine now what about odd yeah verify that so what about odd odd is nothing but uh, first we have to fold this uh, signal and we have to flip it again right so the definition of odd is f of x equals to minus f of minus x clear so we have to take the symmetry with respect to x axis and we need to flip that in that case that will be equal to the original signal yeah so is it odd first of all so we have to take the symmetry with respect to y axis nothing but folding and then take the flip so this won't be satisfied because so immediately here we have a full signal right but here we have half part so full uh, half wave we have here but here we don't have full half wave the part of the half wave is on the positive x axis side clear therefore this is not odd even so not odd wave okay therefore this is half wave neither even nor odd therefore this is not a quarter wave clear yeah let us verify this so this is first of all not a half wave therefore i can't say this so not a first of a quarter wave and let us verify uh, is it even or odd yeah so on x axis on the negative side we have uh, negative part of the curve and immediate to uh, y axis and positive side we have positive uh, positive uh, part of the curve therefore this is not even but odd clear yeah not half wave but it is so it is odd wave okay and this is also not a not a quarter okay yeah and what about this okay i'm not going to say whether it is even or odd just comment below whether it is even or odd or half wave and whether it is becomes a quarter wave or not okay yeah thank you